Hi everyone, it's Suzanne with iCrafter and today I am sharing the mini album accordion die set. This is going to be such a fun die set to create really fun themed mini albums. There are 17 dies in this entire collection. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. The main component of this die is the one that creates the signatures for your mini album. So that would be this die here. And then you can also create a mat for your signature or include it as a separate page in your mini album. So that is this die. To create the spine to your mini album, to hold all the signatures, you receive this accordion style die. And to hold your signatures in place or to hold a single page, you also have this die here that is kind of like an insert. And I'll show you exactly how we use this one. You also receive this really fun border here and you can use it at the bottom of this page here or you can even use it just as a decorative touch onto your photo mats. You also have this die that creates an individual pocket and I think it's a great way to add tags inside, even journaling or even photos as well. So this is a really fun addition to this die collection. Also included in this die collection are words um, you have the word happy, you have the word today, me, you, the ampersand, and adventure. And this little, um, I call it like a little license plate, and it says this is. You also have a marker, a heart, a hashtag, as well as a banner. So lots of fun elements here just to create some extra fun details to your mini albums. So let me go ahead and start by just sharing with you the project that I ended up making with this collection. So here's a peek at the mini album that I created using the mini album accordion die set. Now, I know many of us probably are not doing a lot of traveling, but I do plan on some future trips, hopefully um, next year. So I decided to create a little travel theme mini album. So when I do go on that trip, I can just go ahead and start um, documenting my trip and just adding photos and journaling because everything else will already be done. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you the papers that I started with and we're going to go ahead and create just the base of the mini album together. Okay, so here's a look at the color palette that I chose for the mini album. This was my primary piece of inspiration. So I then just went ahead and chose some coordinating pattern papers and then coordinating solid 12 by 12 cardstock. I picked a few details just through my stash. You know, I love using doilies, some little wood embellishments, and then this envelope. So I'll show you exactly what I did with this. I thought this was a really fun addition. Again, just another place to add some journaling or even photos, or maybe even receipts from a trip that I want to remember. Okay, and then just something that I wanna share on the back of this paper here, there were all these cutouts. So. I chose these three tags here and I just went ahead and just cut them apart and then just added them to the front of my album and also inside. So I really love when I can find a paper like this because this adds just really quick and easy details to your projects. Okay, let's go ahead and start building the base to our mini this album. 12 by, I did also use this 12 by 12 embossed cardstock. I used it for two signatures in my mini album. Now in the mini album, you're able to create signatures depending on how many pages you wanna have in your, in your book. So for the uh, mini album that I made here, I added four signatures. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you how I did that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the die. I almost forgot to mention, I did use this embossed white cardstock to create two signatures in the mini album. It's one that's in the front of the mini book as well as inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my signature die here. I'm gonna cut my cardstock to six by 12 and I'm gonna run this through the, through the die cut machine twice. So I have two of the signatures. The other colors that I chose as a signature would be this color here. And again, you're just cutting your paper to six by 12 run it through and you'll have a complete signature. And I also use this 
cardstock here as well. So I'm gonna come back, I, I will share with you the four signatures that I did die cut, and then we'll start um, creating it by cutting out the spine to the mini album. So I'll go ahead and share that with you as well, and I'll be right back. So here are my signatures. So I cut them and I have four of them here. And as you can see in the middle of the signatures, there's this little slit. So this will be where our accordion spine sits nicely inside and holds our signatures in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this um, three times using white cardstock to create the base of my album. You can add more signatures to depending on how many pages that you want to add to your mini album, but I would probably try to stay between the six or eight range just so that your spine of your mini album is nice and snug and does lay flat when you are opening your mini album. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut this out of white cardstock and I'll be right back. Cut my spine three times out of cardstock. And as you can see, there are um, score lines on them. So we're just gonna fold right along those score lines on all three. It's kind of like we're making a party rosette, but we're making our spines to our mini album. Okay, so now we can go ahead and adhere them together. So what I like to do is just take my first one here and I'm gonna add adhesive right on the back of that and then just adhere it to the next spine, just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and use hot glue for this, but I would probably recommend like either double-sided red tape or really strong liquid adhesive. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my last die cut here and I'm gonna go ahead and add adhesive to the back of this and adhere to the top of this here. Okay. And so now you have your accordion spine. At least that's the name that I'm giving it. So this is how we'll begin to build our mini album. I have my signatures in the order that I want them in my mini album. So now I have my spine here and I'm gonna go ahead and start inserting my signatures. Now in the middle of each of them is a little slit. And what I like to do is just place my accordion spine just like that and slip this right over the top. So I'm gonna begin with this um, second peak to the, or the first peak to the accordion spine and slip it right over the top. Just like that, because this will wrap around to the front of our mini album. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take that second peak, grab this pink cardstock, slip it right over the top. And we're gonna go back and add our, um, we're gonna go back and adhere this down and add our extra little um, die cut to ensure that our signatures do not slip out. So here we're gonna go ahead and add our next signature. Just like that. And then we have our final signature and slip this right over the top of this one, or the middle, just like that, and fold it over because now this will adhere to the back of our mini album. So this is what we have so far. And as you can see, it's looking really good there. So you kinda wanna just kinda keep this nice and flush and it'll make for a really easy mini album that when you turn um, the pages, it'll be um, easy to turn as you're looking through your mini album. Okay, so now we can go ahead and adhere these down and it's just gonna be dependent on your design of your mini album. You can um, obviously adhere this down first, add your pattern paper to the top of it, your photo on top of it, or you can go ahead and kind of leave this to the last, add your pattern paper, and then slip this um, right over the top 
So it's really dependent upon you. But we do want four of these. So we will ensure that our, our signatures do not slip out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out of cardstock. We're gonna need four. We're gonna need one here, 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 and here. Now, if you did not want to use this for all of them, you could simply add another page to the back of this to um, ensure that your signature does not slip out. And that's in addition to your mini album, you're adding an extra page. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have cut four of these out of this die here. So this will hold our signatures in place. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is just take this here and slip it right through the top of our accordion spine and it slips in just like that, super easy. So now our signature is not going to slip. It's gonna stay nicely adhered. Now at this point, you could put adhesive on the back and then adhere it down to your back of the signature. Or you could wait, add your pattern paper, a photo, and then adhere this down. It's really just dependent upon you. Let me kind of show you what I did to this first signature here. So as you can see here, what I did was I went ahead and put adhesive on the back and then adhered it, adhered it down and then added my stamping and some washi tape to the front of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And again, I would recommend a really strong adhesive for this just to make sure it's nicely snug. Okay, so we have that one, and then we're gonna go to our next one. And let's go ahead and adhere a pink one. Actually, I probably would have picked a different color, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then again, you're gonna add your adhesive to the back and get all these nicely tucked back in. Okay, and then here, I'll go ahead and add this one through the top, but actually, I wanna show something here. So let's just say you didn't want to add this piece here. If you remember, I, I mentioned that you could add like another um, page to your signature. Well, you can simply take um, the die, this die here, that creates like that photo mat to your signature. Go ahead and cut that out of cardstock and then you can adhere it to the back. And then now that becomes a page, in an extra page inside your mini album. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add adhesive to the back of this. And get this nice and centered, adhere that down. Okay, so now instead of using one of these, you now have created a, an additional page in your mini album, which is really cool. So I really like that aspect. So let's just go ahead and kind of get all these nicely situated. Okay, so we have one here, here. I'll go ahead and add some adhesive to the back of this. And then here, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this just as an extra page. And then we're gonna come to our last signature and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this color here, slip this through the top, just like that, and add adhesive to the back of it, just like that. And now we have our mini album, so the base to our mini album. So what I would do now is I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this down and again, using stronger adhesive than what I'm doing here. And then you can then cut a pattern paper using this die and add that to the back of your mini album. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the front and we'll go ahead and kind of decorate that. Okay, so for the front of the mini album, I did use this pattern paper right on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and add adhesive to this here. Make sure 
sure these are all nice and straight. And then before I add this page to the front of the mini album, I'm gonna add some ribbon, just so I add an extra detail and have like a fun enclosure to the mini album. So I'm gonna grab some ribbon. Now I'm just grabbing some white ribbon here. And what I did was I just wrapped it around and you obviously don't need this much ribbon. Um, just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just add some hot glue right along here, just to hold my ribbon in place. Okay, so I went ahead and added some hot glue and then added some on the back too. And then I would add my page to the very front of the mini album. And then that will hold my ribbon in place. And then I'm going to add the same pattern to the back of the mini album as well. Just like that. Just to kind of finish it off on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the front. Okay, just like that. And then now you have just this fun enclosure or closure for your mini album, which I think is cute. And I think on mine, I tied into knot, but now that I have an excess amount of ribbon on this one here, I kind of like the bow. So you could either do a bow or a knot. And I think that would be really fun. And just add something else to your mini album. Okay, so now, okay, so now that we have the base of our mini album, we can now have fun and begin the design process. And that's my favorite part of mini albums. It's probably the cover. I love designing the covers. So on this one here, I just added a little vellum um, bag. I added the tags from the Cut Apart 12 by 12. Let me share that with you. And it's just this one here. I just cut around these three tags. I used two of them for the front of the mini album, punched holes and added some twine. And it just added for some very easy and fun details to the mini book. So um, I really love when I get these 12 by 12 cut apart um, pages. So here's a closer look at the mini album. As you can see, there's those two cut apart tags. I just punched holes, added some twine. I added that really fun marker out of gold glitter cardstock added some fun washi tape. And then again, there's that the words that are included in this die set. And then just some wood embellishments. And then I really love this banner because again, just something this easy just adds extra um, dimension to your pages. So here's a look at the inside. I really love this bold stamp set and I believe it is called the Alphabet Haley. It is just a must have. I really loved it and I used it throughout the mini book. And then here, this is ready for a photo here. I could add some journaling here. And I absolutely love this die set along with its coordinated stamp set. And I believe it's called Hello World. I loved it. I just embossed and then I just die cut around it. Made it for a really simple and quick and easy embellishment added my hashtag, a little banner along the bottom. Again, this Explorer is from this collection here. And then I added a little flip so I could add more pages inside. And then here, I just added a really fun butterfly. Again, one of those cut apart tags. And then here is a double page spread. And I love doilies, so I used one here. Again, that alphabet by Haley is here. And then I just die cut a heart from the accordion mini album and then just added it to a paper clip. Super easy. Added some enamel dots, some more of that washi tape. And then again, just some fun wood embellishments. And again, 
I just, lo I love this. I love banners. Anything that has a really fun banner die cut, because again, it just makes for really easy embellishing. And then for this final one, I kept it really simple, but I did add an envelope. And then I use this rose die and I added an enclosure so that you could open it and then tuck in photos, journaling, uh, maybe some receipts that you want to remember. And I thought that would be a really fun way to document that and save that. My mini album is now ready for my future travel photos of a vacation or even if it's just a short getaway. I absolutely love this mini album die. I cannot wait to create just some theme ones. Um, maybe your favorite top 10. It would be also a really cute um, book for grandparents as a little brag book. And with the holidays coming, I think this would be so perfect to document just a really quick snippet of your holiday um, memories. So let us know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.